In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to connect your iFound Agent website to MailChimp. Uh, the first thing you need to do is go into MailChimp. You're going to need to get an API key. So from here, we're going to go to Account, Extras, API Keys, and just copy an API key, and then you need to bring that over to your website. Uh, if you don't see MailChimp activated, here under forms, just let us know, we'll activate that for you. So the first thing you need to do is take that API key and drop it into, you go to settings, MailChimp, and then you're gonna paste the API key here. So you're gonna save that, uh, then go back to MailChimp, or we're gonna set up uh, a feed from one of our, one of the forms inside of your website. So let's go to add new, and we're gonna select a MailChimp list to put the new uh, entries into. In this case, I'm going to pick this list. And then the form, uh, let's do need help questions. And then we need to put the fields in. So we need to put the email field from Gravity Forms, first name, last name. Um, and here, these are the opt-in fields for how people are going to get onto the list. So if it's a double opt-in, they have to get an email and agree to it. In this case, uh, I'm going to take everything off because I'm just going to make up a dummy account just for an example. So you might want to research how you want to add people to your list. So let's save that. Uh, let's go into uh, a property and let's go to the form that we just added, need help questions. And let's add Daffy Duck. And let's submit that. And now let's go over to our MailChimp and check our lists. And let's go to the new video list, which I've added. And here we see Daffy Duck. So pretty simple. Uh, you just do need to, if, if it's not working, it's probably an API error. So you might need to create a new one. Uh, that's it for now. Stay tuned for more tips and tutorials from iFoundAgent. Thank you.